Today I thought I would do a quick little mod. I had a few of these pieces right here left over. These are the clear vinyl that I use for the door sills. And I was looking online at like Honda OEM parts and I saw that they made a, a clear overlay piece that goes along this right here. To protect your trunk from if you load strollers in it or golf clubs or anything like that that's gonna hit on this, it's gonna ding it up pretty good. Especially I've noticed on cars on this edge, as you know, the paint's thin on edges like that, so it'd be easy to chip it there. So I had a few pieces left over. Right here I have, I would say it's probably about two feet. And then I have another piece. So I normally would like one continuous piece, but since I have two, I wanna show you guys how you can do it. And I'm gonna apply it. And since it's the clear vinyl, I can make it so you can't even see the line on it. So pretty basic here. So what I'm gonna do first is just clean this off with um, soap and water. I'm gonna use a little bit of Dawn soap to strip it so the vinyl will stick a little bit better. So I'll go ahead and clean that up and I'll get back. Okay, so I went ahead and I cleaned it up. I positioned this, I'll show you guys what I did here. So I cut this piece, just gonna line up. And I'm not gonna try to butt it up against here because it's almost impossible to, for you guys to scratch this area. I'm not even sure if the OEM one that goes under here or not, but the main thing I'm trying to do is get it to tuck on this lip of the bumper here. So as you can see, when you position it, it's gonna fold down probably by a quarter inch, which will be perfect. Um, and then I believe when I was looking at the instructions to the OEM piece, I think they want you to line it up to this seam right here where this piece of plastic is. So I tried to line it up, you can see here, even with that, and then even with this piece here to go down. So that way it's protecting the most important parts, I mean the entryway to the trunk, just exactly the same reason they put this here. So it should be pretty straightforward. Like I said, I just had some spare pieces. And if you guys did that mod where you're putting, like making your own door seals, you'll probably have enough of this. I was kind of wasteful with it. Um, I have like little pieces like this that I probably shouldn't have, should have measured a little bit better. Um, so this could be one continuous piece, but it's okay. Like I said, I can get it so you can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and same process here. You're just using a little bit of soapy water and you're gonna apply it and then you're gonna squeeze it down. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna spray it really quick and I'll show you guys. What okay, so here it is. You can see it. You just spray the bumper and then the underside of this with soapy water and then I just positioned it so it's the, at least the lip is going to flop down. Now, this bumper has a slight curve to it. That's why you're gonna get more overhang here and on the edge, but like I said, I don't really care too much about it. You could stretch it and try to form it, but I just want it mainly to protect it. And being clear, you're not really gonna see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that down really quick. And if you want, you could always pick this back up. I'm just gonna work all the water out this way. If you get any bubbles, just take it off. And this part, as you guys know, gets a lot of heat. So I'm gonna to try to do it without a heat gun because when this sits outside, it's gonna bond really quick. And the main thing is just try to get all the water out as you can. And it's actually sticking pretty good, better than I thought it would. As a goal is, I mean, you can put heat if you want, but you don't really need it on this. 
being the angle that it's on, it'll stick. If you notice it lifting up a lot, just work on getting more of the water out. That'll help. There. I mean, there's how it looks. Probably can't even see it. Starts there. Goes up here. Ends right there. And then on the bumper, it's here. And it kind of goes this way. Ties in right there. But I mean, I can't even really tell where it is. It's pretty invisible, which is the point. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and do this spot. I'll tear this little piece off. Same thing, spray it really good, and spray this as well. Okay, and just set it how you want. And again, I'm gonna try to line it up perfect to this. Just work on getting the water out. Okay. And just. And it sticks really good once you get mo most of the moisture out of it. At first, you might be thinking, oh, it's not really sticking, but just keep working on it and it'll stick down. I mean, you could always use heat. I did for the um, door sills, but with this, you don't need to. Like I said, there's a little bit of wrinkles in this from being folded up. It'll come out with the heat. You don't have to like work on it really. Just let it happen on its own. I feel like this is an easy way to get you protection for the back without buying the Honda part, which I think it's 60 or 70 bucks and it has like a little H logo on it. I mean, if you want the logo that bad, you can just get a little decal. Um, but I mean, 60 bucks for something that, I mean, I think I paid $6 for this whole roll and I did all the door sills and then I have extra for this. And I still have a few little pieces like this big, like scrap pieces, but I mean, it does the same exact thing. It's, you can fill the thickness to it. You know, the nice thing is it's invisible, just about invisible, and it'll protect. If you guys hit the edge here with, you know, shopping cart cuts up against it, it'll protect it. That's how it is. Show you guys here. That's a little bit of moisture right here I didn't get. Like I said, it's this stuff is so easy to work with. Just keep working the moisture to one of the sides. And the rest, the sun will take care of. So you don't have to get it perfect, but I'm going to take me probably five minutes. I think it says five minutes on the clock here to do. You can see the shine of it. It even feels nice. I like that because it feels like the door protectors, the little um, door cut protectors that I installed. Real nice feel to it. Now, if you ding it up with something or hit the edge here, it's protected. And if you guys want, you could drop it down lower here if you want. You can kind of see mine's right there. And over here, mine is right there. It's a little lower on this side. But again, I'm just using scrap pieces. Just want to give you guys an idea if you have some laying around or you can buy it. I mean, $6 for a new roll, which I might do to make it one continu continuous piece. You know, and then you could even take a stencil and kind of make a stencil of this, this little piece right here, and transfer it on there so you'll get the same angle that this bumper has. So it'll be 
even down here all the way down that's easy to do just get some transfer paper and make a stencil of it you know but if you look at it you can't even tell you can see the edge right here you know, and I might have dirt under the, that edge so I'll let it cure up and then I can clean this little edge up where the it was on the tape at but other than that it's nice and you can't even tell that it's on here I like it like I said you haul stuff a lot things in and out groceries even cases of water will ding it it'll help protect it so just something quick for you guys if you guys had some laying around some clear protector it's another use for it and Honda actually sells a OEM piece for this for like I said 60 bucks so no reason in my eyes to get that piece if you guys just apply it like that and you're good to go thanks everybody for your support if you haven't Please like and subscribe. I do appreciate the support I'm getting. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.